the use of Apple products has really streamlined how we transfer information back and forth between departments, certainly in the lighting department, where I can hand somebody this little device and it holds everything that they can possibly need for the show to function. Everything that you'll hear in, in King Lear and most shows here in New York all are running on Macs. We use iTunes instead of other programs uh, basically because it's the software that we all know and understand very well. It's very easy to manage and um, it's just a common language for all of us. I just love it. It's uh, compact and I'm able to work wherever and whenever that I need to. With the lighting department we use the iPad. This is the remote control. The stage manager gets this iPad during the run of the show. And in the run of the show, it, it runs a series of cues. So the stage manager who says, Q52 go, can look at the iPad that we've assigned to her or him, and we'll see that we've hit that go at the right time. That's probably the, the best part of it. But for this guy, really, it's just, let's turn some lights on. One through, turn, pad 100, boop. Just turn some lights on. There are a bunch of lights on now. With this, we point moving lights here and there. We can quickly test things, make them function, make them not function. It's very efficient. What I like most about the, uh, about Apple products is the fact that you can customize them in such a way creatively based on your own personal workflow. In the running of the sound design for the shows here at The Public, for example, for King Lear, we're running two Mac Minis that will run a program called QLab that will play back all the sound effects for the entire production. They'll run directly out of the, the hard drive of the computer via this, via this program, and God forbid, in case something were to happen with one of the machines, we basically flip a switch and it instantly goes to the dual redundancy backup without the audience ever knowing that, that anything happened. Uh, this is the prop Bible for King Lear. Um, so I can go through the props, have it with me anytime, and I can also email it at any time. So I can access whatever show budget we have in real time. I can access the prop budget. This is the script for King Lear. If you see these little yellow notes, let's add a piece of music here. Let's add a piece of underscoring here. Also, if I'm in a production meeting, um, I can go to my production notes, um, the note taker, and you can either do it in hand or you can do it with a pencil or a uh, stylus. And what it'll do is it'll open up this for you. This document was to show, they wanted hay bales, but we didn't want to do it in a normal style. So I was able to have three different examples of the hay and showed them to the director and the director was like, that's perfect. Just as far as design programs go, Macs are really user friendly and so it's kind of something that a lot of artists and designers and filmmakers use as opposed to Windows. One of the things I really like is I'm always working on like a million different things and so I really love this like expose where you can see all of your windows at once and you know it makes it easier to kind of manage my workflow. So this is just my own iPad. If I were to name it I'd probably name it something like Patty. I think that it can be a really cool way to show things like books, video, animations, and so, for example, this was a play guide that I designed. It's kind of a supplementary thing for one of the shows last season. And um, they made it available online that people could download and either print it out or look at it on their computers, or in this case, somebody could look at it on their iPad. I think the thing I like least about the Apple products is they're designed to be less efficient than the new model that comes out. Whenever they release the new model, they upgrade the software and they make you, they request that you upgrade the software on your older device. And in doing so, you've dumbed it down with that new software because when an Apple product comes out, it's designed to be the maximum use of its software. So when you keep updating it, you're just pushing, pushing and pushing and making it harder for the device to function properly. So. I have no idea where my Apple products uh, come from. California. Oh, it's easy. My Apple products come from the Apple Store. I, I don't actually think about it. I probably should, but um, but I don't. I feel like if it's about sort of my my carbon footprint or whatever, um, I'll try to deal with that in some other way because it's just such an essential tool at this point 
that, and it's integrated into kind of my creative life that I actually couldn't do what I'm doing if it wasn't for the the actual hardware and software. So it's kind of a necessary evil, I guess.